product, we naturally produce oils in our skin. We got good skin. A lot of us, I, let me see, let me see some wrinkles. I don't see one wrinkle in the room. Not one, not one person ever needs to look over here. No wrinkles. No wrinkles in the room. That's normal. <laughs> Uh, 
that nigga cereal. Y'all know y'all love that nigga cereal. Uh, part of a balanced breakfast ain't nothing about Fruit Loops. <laughs> part of a balanced breakfast. <laughs> nothing. Crumb, I don't know about you, I'm gonna give me some Fruit Loops. Shout out to Fruit Loops. Who like Fruit Loops? Come on, family. Where you at? Where my Fruit Loop family at? I know you're out here. I know you're out here. That's right. Fruit Loops. I don't know about hearing from the Fruit Loops. I get a good thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Now, Fruit Loops, part of a balanced breakfast. You know why they stopped saying that? It's a lie. Not alive. It's a lie. It's marketing. Shiny. They say some shit sound good. I'll buy it. Give me six. Why? That stuff is fake. We have been niggerized. We're very slavish. It's a really cool thing, you know, to drink Hendal. But it's not cool to drink a urine. So why do I drink my urine? Uh, it's, it's ultra plasmic filtrate. I know. No, ultra pla come on, man. There's too many words, too many letters. I know, I know, it's, it, it's boring. Now, so what is urine? Ultra plasmic fil filtrate. Don't nobody know what that is. So let's break it down. Urine is blood. Why I drink my urine is simply me drinking my blood. You say, come, urine is blood? Nobody told me that. I've got a doctorate in pseudoscience. I've got a doctorate in Fruit Loops. Blood has three parts to it. Three parts. Anybody know what they are? Plasma. Plasma? The other two are easy. Plasma is a part. Red blood cells, white blood cells. There's three parts to this thing you call blood. So when you say blood, they're usually going to say, oh, it's just one thing. No, blood is three things that you just call one thing. You go to the doctor's office, he pulls the blood, puts it in a centrifuge. That's that thing that goes like this. All heavy stuff goes to the back. All light stuff goes to the front. This is just a form of gravity. The weakest force in the world is gravity. The weakest force. So, you know, the, the heavy stuff ain't going to go to the back. So you put it in centrifuge. Centrifuge, this is your blood. Plasma go to the top. White blood cells in, blood cells in the middle. Red blood cells at the bottom. So now you can see through your doctor, oh, come on, I have my blood taken. They took it to the centrifuge. I just didn't know anything what they were doing. I didn't know what was going on. They're going to see your blood count. They say, oh, wow, you only got that much blood and that much uh, plasma. A little bit of, matter of fact, do I need a mic? I don't really need, I mean, do I? Do I need a I should, I should, okay, okay, because she said so. <laughs> Had you said it, I would, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I'm sorry. Oh, the taping. Okay, peace and love. That's peaceful. So now, when you're dealing with the blood in the centrifuge, you're going to have three parts to the blood. Plasma, white blood cells, red blood cells. Most of your blood is what? According to that valve that the doctor put in the centrifuge. Most of your blood is plasma. Most of your blood is plasma. Now let's get a little bit deeper into it. Crumb, you're such a nerd. I'm about to be a nerd today. A little bit deeper into it. So you got three parts to your blood, white, red, and clear. Clear is plasma. Kidneys, what's the job of the kidneys, from? Filter. Anybody know the job of the kidneys? Filter up. Filter what? Uh, I, I, I'm sorry. Filter the blood. Now, we got three things. When we're talking about blood, it's the... In the name of white Jesus. When we're talking about blood, I'm sorry, family. When we're talking about blood, we're talking about three things. The blood is that. The blood, what do you mean blood? blood. Hey, black guy over there. Which one? We're all black. What are you talking about? Who? Which one? You, you can't just say black guy. Yeah. It's a room full of us. You got to say something. Oh, that Moorish guy. No, no. A little bit better. The indigenous guy? No, no. Can you say my name? Plasma. Plasma. Who said that? A master student. You get two points. Not that that means anything. I'm just, you know, giving you your flowers. So now, the job of the kidneys is not, I repeat, not to filter blood. The job of the kidneys, kidneys is to filter plasma. What is the job of the liver? Well, it has several jobs. So the most electrical part of your body is the heart. What's running through the heart? The blood. Now keep in mind, the blood is really the blood platelets. 
these plates are floating on a river of water called plasma. The plasma is being electrocuted by your heart. You have electrical water going through the body. Now, Crum, I gotta drink more electrolytes, or you could just drink water and make your own electrolytes. Crum, I gotta get more vitamins, or you could just eat right. The body produces its own vitamins, which the body does not produce vitamins. Vitamin is a compound word. Yeah, Vitamin stands for vital mineral. Vitamins are unnatural, minerals are natural. A synthetic mineral is called a vitamin. Go look it up. Crum, what vitamins do I need? Your ancestors never had no vitamins. The body sustains itself. The doctor healed me. No, he put a cast on you. Your arm healed itself. Surprise! Yo ass could have had a tourniquet. Put the tourniquet up there, put something to stabilize that shit, sit your ass down for about two weeks. That's all you need. Just go ahead and find somewhere to sit down. Sit it down for about a month or two. It'll heal itself, I promise. I give you my word. So now, the heart is the most electrical part of the body. There's water or fluid running through the body. It's being electrified. The same thing in the in um, uh, lightning. When does lightning strike? Usually when it's raining. Lightning is a form of plasma. It's from a plasma. It's liquid. Come from lightning. Yeah, that that's, came from the skies. A lot of people, flat. I'm not a flat earther. A lot of people will tell you the universe is plasma. It's a liquid. So now you're dealing with uh, liquid going through the blood. Liquid goes through the blood, it gets electrified. Now this is an electrical thing. As a matter of fact, let me, let me give you a boring science word. Anybody ready to get bored? Homeostasis. Anybody know what homeostasis is? Any uh, pre-medical undergrads? Went to parties, stealing kidneys and stuff. I know about you guys. When the body takes the time to adjust. It's simply adjustment. There's a lot of pre-medical undergrads who will take you to a fake party, and then they'll give you a a, 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 a Bill Cosby special, and you take that Bill Cosby special, that, that little uh, drink, and then you wake up in a, in a tub full of ice, and there's a, 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 a message written in lipstick on the, on the, um, the mirror, Saying, call the police. You got two tubes coming out of that joint. Your kidney's gone, baby. Your kidney's gone. Medical undergrad. What are they doing to make their, to make their money? They're stealing kidneys. Who's stealing the kidneys? These, these white boys did the Bill, the Bill Cosby parties in California. I digress. Shout out to my medical undergrads. So now, um, you go and you, uh, where was I at? The kidneys. Homeostasis. Homeostasis. Thank you so much. Homeostasis is simply a big word for balance. I'm hot, I'm sweaty, yeah, your body's just balancing out. That's it. So now you drink too much water, you gotta pee. That's it. So, oh crumb, that's waste. You can't drink your waste, let's define waste. I need you people to remember, remember peace of love. 400 years of not reading has done a job on the Negro. I myself have said many times, and this is a fact, by the time our children get to fifth grade, fifth grade, their European counterparts know approximately 10,000 more words than our children know. So when an average Negro, Negro come and try to debate me on anything, I know you're not from England. I know you don't understand English. By the time our children, we don't really read books. So when we say waste, your mama said, don't waste that food. When your mama said, don't waste that food, that was extra. Not waste meaning trash. Waste meaning it was good, but you didn't use it. That's waste, Crumb. What is waste? What is waste? Is waste trash, or is waste the extra that you didn't use? So now the body has homeostasis. The body only needs a certain amount of water, certain amount of food, certain amount of this. Certain... So this one girl, she's like, Crumb, I'm going to take me some pills. I said, that's fine. But just know if your ass ever care to understand, those pills have a like a 7% absorption rate. Mm -hmm. You pop that pill, you're gonna pee that cheek right on out. Crumb, my urine's lime green. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the vitamin. That's the vitamin. The body has a, the, uh, 
The body has a poor absorption rate of vitamins. Vitamins aren't very effective. You pop a vitamin, it's got a 5% effective rate. It don't work, family. It don't work. Let me give a shameless plug for VK Platinum. VK Platinum is really giving us something that's going to assimilate with our bodies. The doctor gave me this pill. That's great, family. But what is that going to do for your body? I, I told my grandma, I said, listen, you can take them pills, but them bitches want to tear your kidneys all the way up. You can take that pill, but that bitch want to tear your fucking liver to shreds. Pills are not a long-term solution. So take your pill. I ain't, I ain't gonna judge you. Take your pill. Looking crazy in the face. So now um, you gotta do things that are natural for the body. So when we deal with natural things, I just saw a cute girl walk by. Sorry. She was all right. Such a man. Uh, so now, when you have these natural things uh, with the body, those things will work with the body. So now you uh, you have waste. Now that we know the definition of waste, from that's waste, what's waste? I, I, I don't know what waste is. So now that we've already got the word waste, we know what waste is. So when you urine, when you pee, that's waste. That's extra that the body did not use. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You say, say that for later. What's your mama tell you? No, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. You wanna eat that or you ain't eat at all? You wake up in the morning, oh, what's for breakfast? What you didn't eat last night? Whatever it is you didn't eat last night will be for breakfast this morning. I'm not playing with you. Mama don't play that stuff. You ain't wasting nothing in her house. She ain't getting up. They cut food stamps back. Are you kidding me? You ain't wasting nothing in this house. Or you're going to go hungry. You're in shape. No, I just don't eat. My mama didn't make stuff I didn't like, so I'm skinny because of that. So now, um, waste. You urinate because you drunk too much water. That doesn't make it waste, that just makes it extra. So now you urinate, and so, some of you are gonna say, no, Crumb, I know you're wrong. I can't drink my urine. My urine smells like, what does is, what is, what is stinky urine smell like? Piss. Ammonia. <laughs> Who said it, ammonia? Ding, 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 ding. Master students, if you're too cool for school, raise your hand if you're too cool for school. That's right, family, the whole piss thing is really cute. It's cute, don't get me wrong, I love you, brother. But at, at, at that end of the day, family, our people, I'm sorry, the European knows approximately, I got this, I'm about to wrap it up. Okay, so just let it go. Thank you, better let it go. <laughs> let me stop, let me stop. I can say no. In my, in my mind, okay. in my mind, I can say, it sounded good up here. Like, if you record me, I'm like, who the hell? But anyway, so, um, Urine smells like ammonia. I can't drink my urine crumb, it smells like ammonia. Why do your urine smell like ammonia, family? What you been eating? I don't wanna talk about that. Don't body shame me. <laughs> what is ammonia? Ammonia is either three or four parts nitrogen. Nitrogen, why do I care? What's, what's, what, what's so important about nitrogen? The second your ass stop eating meat, what's the first question they're gonna ask you? Anybody, what's the first question? Protein. Where do you get your protein from, crumb? And the reason I make these voices is because that's how it really sounds in my head. It's a nagging Jewish lady. Protein <laughs> me. Um, but anyway, so yeah, um, where do you get your protein from, crumb? Well, this is the thing. What is, what is protein? Protein is a chain of amino acids. Who said that? Islam. You get, two, you get three points for that one. I'm impressed. Here's the thing, family. They're going to talk to you about those proteins. And that's a true statement. I'm not debating nobody on that. You eat the meat, you're going to get protein. That's cool. However, at the very end of that amino acid chain is, is what? Nitrogen. At the very end of every single amino acid chain is a nitrogen molecule. Well, why is that important? Because the average meat eater, what are you gonna eat for breakfast? Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll take eggs and bacon, crumb. All right, eggs and bacon, go ahead on. Average, this ain't, this ain't extra. 
Crumbing, drinking urine is extra. Let's just be average. Let's be average. For lunch, what you gonna do with your average ass? I'm gonna get me a burger and fries, Crumb. What do you think? Yeah, bro, that's, that's average. What's your average ass? For dinner, what's your average ass? What you get? I'll uh, get me some steak and potatoes. Two, please. I'm feeling hungry. Haven't eaten since lunch. I haven't eaten since, well, what's between lunch and I haven't eaten since supper? <laughs> so, uh, this is the thing. Your ass has ate nothing but meat and starch all day. And you washed it down with some hand dog, you know, a beer, a Budweiser. So now, which part of the body is responsible for breaking down nitrogen? Where's my pre-medical undergrad at? The liver. Ding, 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 ding. Who said that? The guy in the back? You get two points. He didn't even look. Um, so now, the liver is responsible for breaking down nitrogen. Here's the catch. When the liver breaks down nitrogen effectively, it's called urea. You urinate it out, it's clear. Don't have a smell, no odor, no taste, no nothing. And you're urinating out. So you've got urea, you've got plasma with, with electrolytes. It's also sterile. It's also room temperature. I need extra ice, crumb, extra ice. Well, back to homeostasis. The body's trying to maintain what temperature? You drink that ice, you send the body into shock. If you drink cold water, the body goes into shock. Just like the night before, your ass was coming home blasting the music. You know, uh, uh, DMX, rest in peace. Then the next morning, you forgot You forgot the radio was on that next morning. You turn the radio on. There's just my house tomorrow. I was listening to it that loud. The body went into shock. The body went into shock. It can't handle certain things. I can take my weed, girl, I smoke me some weed. Yo, I smoke a, a blunt. You, you, the first time you get, the highest you will ever get is the first time. They say crackheads are chasing a high. That first initial shock, after that, the body knows how to deal with it. The body knows how to deal with it after that first initial shock. But when you drink that ice water, you're gonna send your body in the shop. The body wants to maintain the same temperature. It's called homeostasis. Instead of hot tea crumb, I need some sweet tea with extra ice, extra sugar. That's nigga water, family. Stop playing with me. Anything with extra sugar in is nigga water. So now, you uh, you had a reasonable amount of nitrogen. A reasonable amount of meat. The body can break that down, sure. You broke it down, it's urea. But your ass been overdosed. Give me two Hardy's biscuits, crumb. I'll take two and an extra one for later. So now your ass has OD'd on Hardy's biscuits. The liver, I'm sorry, the liver can't break that down. That's too much Hardy's biscuits. So what is the body gonna do with that extra nitrogen? Cause you're a, you're a, you know, you, all my protein, crumb, I'm, I'm using that protein, you're not using that protein, what you know that meat for? You know damn well you don't need all that meat. Stuff is getting away sometimes. Especially when I sleep, I'm like, how do y'all sleep with these locks? Yeah, Bonnie, I feel like a man. <laughs> so now, so now, um, I'm thinking about myself with a body. No, 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 solutions are solutions. Don't give me a bonnet. Uh, so now, uh, you didn't eat an ass of me. You can't, your liver, the liver only operates in shifts. You got from seven to three, three to 11, 11 to seven. Crum, how do you know that? What is that called, family? When the body only operates in shifts where animals will hibernate after a certain period of time. Circadian rhythm. Circadian rhythm, I was about to pull it off. Three points for you, what's that, six points total now? Salute. Circadian rhythm. Your circadian, yeah, I'm just gonna set this down. Your circadian rhythm d dictates the rhythm that your body is on. Your body's on a three to, a, three to uh, I'm sorry, seven to three. Your body usually burns whatever energy you have 
from 7 to 3. From 3 to 11, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, 11 at night, you're going to consume energy for the next day. From 11 to 7, you're going to uh, uh, get rid of all the waste. Every morning, you should take a crap, Kim. Every, every morning, you should take a, take a crap. Crap, how do you know every morning I should take a crap? Circadian rhythm. Crapping every morning is a part of your circadian rhythm. You're not crapping every morning, family, you got an issue. Surprise! VK Platinum! So now, circadian rhythm. The liver is only breaking down nitrogen from 3 to three to 11. And you know Wendy's open late, so your liver is in trouble. The liver's in trouble because Wendy's is open late. So now, when, when the liver, but you know what, I'm not messing with this dude. I'm not playing with this girl. I quit. Oh, my liver quit. Somebody pray for me. Praying ain't gonna help your liver. Slow down on the meat. So the liver says, you know what, I quit. I cannot break down. Gratitude. I cannot break down any more nitrogen. So when the liver can't break down no more nitrogen, three nitrogen molecules, what's that family? Anybody know what three, three uh, uh, nitrogen mo molecules is called? Ammonia. Four nitrogen mo uh, molecules. Ammonia. Come I can't drink my ear and it smells like ammonia. Oh really, what'd you have for dinner? I don't wanna talk about that. You vegans wanna judge people. No, no, we just gotta get down to science. For every in the name of European Jesus. To get uh, I'm sorry, for every action, there is an equal and opposite. You know who the devil is, right? You the devil. You the devil. The reason your ish ain't right ain't because of the European, ain't because of the devil. It's because of you family. If your joint ain't right, that's because of something you did. Surprise! Crime, I'm not playing that accountability game with you. I'm just gonna pray it away. So now, so now, you 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 slow down on your meat. I'm not saying stop eating meat. And if I could just harp on that, so from you're a vegan. No, I'm not a vegan. Vegans are vegans are game bangers. Vegans are game bangers. And a lot of these schools of thought are just conscious game banging. I'm not. I'm not I, I, and, and you know, to put a label on ourselves is very European. Very European. I'm not. I don't, I'm not going to label on myself. I have a plant based. Diet. That's it. I have a plant-based diet. I don't claim any games. What set you claim? I don't claim no games. So now, I just want to criticize the media just real quick now that I've put the vegan thing to shame. A lot of you media eaters, you're not real meat eaters. My sister, I hate veganism. My sister can't eat meat off the bone. Does anybody, well, you, you may not, but does anybody know anybody who can't eat meat, who can't eat meat, who can't eat meat off the bone? Anybody know anybody? I know some people. I know, mostly women. Women get, eh, I need some meat not on the bone. Eating meat on the bone is a little savage. We see the picture of the Vikings, ah, they had a big, you know, turkey leg, ah, it's, it's, it's there's levels to meat eating. A lot of people can't eat meat on the bone. It's too savage for them. I'm not saying being vegan, I'm just trying to put it out there. Another one for all you fake meat eaters. How many of you in here have an issue with uh, your, your steak being medium rare? You can't enjoy it unless the blood trickle. Y'all like a little blood on your meat? Who like the blood? I can't have. So I um I was at this really really this is back in the day a really fancy uh, steakhouse. Oh yeah. Fancy. I told the man I said I want mine well done. Y'all know how black people do. Well done. They look at me like my hillbilly. 
You know, it's one of those places you got to dress up to go to. Like, sir, we don't eat our steak. We don't serve steak well done. This is a, a you know, we are meat connoisseurs. If it if, if ain't no blood dripping down my chin, I can't enjoy it. Anybody can't eat bloody meat? Anybody? You can eat bloody meat? You good with bloody meat? Bloody meat, bloody meat? You, you, you good with bloody meat? Now that's a real meat eater. That's a real savage right there. If you can eat bloody meat, you a carnivore. If you can, you know, bite a fucking chicken, <laughs> respect, respect. But if you can't bite a chicken, and when that joint try to flee, you burp, you grip him, then nah, you ain't no meat eater. You a pit bull who wouldn't bite a hot biscuit. Anybody ever seen one of them pit bulls that wouldn't bite a hot biscuit? Bruh, your dog is, is big for nothing. I will beat your tail and that dog will run. What type of dog is that? But then I got my little whatever dog and he will tear your ankles all to pieces. All to pieces. So now we got meat eaters who are closet vegans. I can't eat that crumb. I know. You know, you ain't about that life, for real, for real, when it comes to meat eating. But nonetheless, you eat your little meat, ain't nobody judging you. But, you know, your body can break that down. You urinate it out, you drink that back up. Urea. Anybody know the Ministry of Information? Okay, gratitude. I'm not talking about um, the original Minister of Information, Professor Griff. I'm talking about from Trump TV, my uh, big brother, well, he's pretty same age, but um, Jacoby Ponder, Chef Ponder, he's a chef, so on and so forth, uh, Minister of Information. So, um, you know, he's cooked for Bruce Willis, George Bush, uh, he's really a celebrity chef. I've been around famous people way before Crumb TV. So, uh, you know, matter of fact, before Crumb TV, I did marketing and project management. You say, Crumb, how did you get 100,000 followers? Marketing and project management, that's what I did before Crumb TV. I got a dollar, family. I'm balling out of control. <laughs> so, um, Ponder takes me, or the minister takes me to New York to this uh, posh, up class restaurant. And it's like, it's crazy expensive. Like, it's one of those restaurants that don't got the prices on the menu. I hate those restaurants. If I go to a restaurant that don't got a price on the menu, I'm out of here. No. Appetizer $32, I'm full already. Ah, I'm full. Just have to smell it. I can't afford to eat it. So, uh, <laughs> you know, we was at that restaurant. And uh, uh, he was uh, invited, and I came in as the marketing guy for him. He was invited by uh, some people at a TV show at the time from, I don't know if it was TLC or whatever TV show it was. Whatever, whatever TV show it was, my apologies. I'm sure I'm doing something wrong. Because the last guy, his thing didn't even do this. Did it? Did, did he? It's probably because I'm like, or probably not. I don't know. I don't know. That was crazy. I don't know what I said. So now, when we deal with uh, me up in New York with Pano, it was this uh, plastic surgeon. It was a plastic surgeon couple. The husband was a plastic surgeon. The wife was a plastic surgeon. The daughter, they didn't lose money. These are black people too. Money, money. So they give us a little gift bag. Really nice, really nice. So I get the gift bag and me and Potter go back to the hotel. In the gift bag is lotion. I look at the lotion, it's an active ingredient, urea. I said to the minister, I said, brother, this got urea in it. You go, oh yeah, I just use cocoa butter. Uh, you don't you don't understand what urea is because cocoa butter ain't doing it when you had bad acne on your skin what did grandma tell you to, to uh, wipe on your face yes. the baby's pee pamper yes. anybody grandma told him that anybody ever heard that a lot of you folks from the city a lot of you city folks only know about if Walmart die you niggas will die if Walmart go to, if it ain't no Walmart, I don't know how to eat crumb. What if I told you you could grow your own food? No, no, no. 
to get rid of this acne, I'm gonna have to get, uh, what's the thing for acne now? They get it for the Clarisal. Okay. No, I got a, 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 a damn dashiki, a ankh, and some damn Clarisal. The ancestors told you to do, the, the ancestors said use Clarisal, huh? That's what the ancestors told me. The ancestors told me to get the vaccination, crumb. I'm from the city. Our grandmas, our grandmas was on the block. Well, grandma, for, for those of us who have real grandmas, I know your grandma, when you were born, her ass was 32. Your mama had you when she was 15. Your, your grandma had your mama when she was 15. Your mama had you when she was 15. Come my grandma never said that. Yeah, your grandma was in the club. I get it. I get it. Your grandma was in the club. She don't talk like that. But for those of us who do, your grandma said, wipe the baby's face with the pee pamper. Why did grandma say that? Anybody? I'm about to do altar call. Is there one? Is there one? Why did grandma say wipe the baby's face with, wipe your face with the baby's pee pamper? Urea. There's urea. So now, uh, the last thing, urea. Urea is going to be something you can only get from the doctor. That's why I noticed it. Well, Crumb said, go get some urea. I'm going to go to Dollar General. Crumb said, urea, let me go check Eckert's. To get urea, you got to have a prescription. To get urea, your ass got to have a prescription. The white man took your science, used it against you, and made you pay for it. I'm going to get some Clarisel Crumb Active Ingredient Urea. Oh, where did they get that urea from? I don't know all that. So now, urea is the active ingredient in most of these clean, skin cleaners. If you go look up urea, it is synthetic urine. Now, when we're dealing with synthetic, anybody ever, uh, um, back in the day, they came, the first synthetic marijuana they had was uh, spice. And a lot of military people. Anybody heard of spice? Yeah. Back in the day, you know, a lot of military people were doing spice. Yeah, it was like a fake weed. It was synthetic. <coughs> keep, keep on with that synthetic stuff, family. There I go again, touching the bottom. Yeah. Sorry. So I, I know, right? Can't get right. Anybody seen the movie Life? Can't get right. I swear I resonated with that character. I swear, except for I talk more than I probably should. Have. Nonetheless, so now you're real. Fast. I'm a furious, but not fast. Nonetheless, urea. So now, <clears throat> urea has skin healing properties, and you can only get it at the high, at, uh, from a doctor. So when you get your, ah, oh, I got bit by a shark. Let me put some urea up there. Jellyfish thing, urea. Third degree burn. Nineteenth degree burn. I don't know. There's, is there a nineteenth degree burn? No. No. no? Okay. You, you, you're going after that. Okay. So. 19 degree burn. Put some urea on you. Just go sit your ass down somewhere. Stop, stop. Deep frying stuff. Oil fire. So now, um, you can't get urea until some serious issue happen and the doctor allows you to get urea. That's an active ingredient. That's an active ingredient. Next time you go home, all of you pill poppers, I know you're in here. Whichever one of you are pill poppers, you like to take their medicines, go look at the active ingredient, 1%. I don't care what it is you take. Active ingredient, 0.0%. Anybody know why it's 0.01% active ingredient in all medicines? Money, 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 money. money. I could have gave you 50% and your ass been cured. Two doses, I'm good. 1%, you guys gonna have to buy three bottles of this before you get better. Active ingredient, urea, 1%. Your ass gotta buy 16. I'm done, I need another prescription. I know, we set it up that way. How do you think I got my daughter to go through college with a heroin addiction? With a, I graduated my daughter with a heroin addiction because I've been selling uh, your science back to you, 1%, but at a 1,000% price increase. So now, this is what I'm trying to tell the minister. I said, uh, go and put cocoa butter on a third degree burn and come back and talk to me. Come back and talk to me. I, you know what's gonna happen you put cocoa butter on a third degree burn? That joint gonna hurt like the dickens. 
If you get stung by a jellyfish, what are you supposed to do to soothe the pain? You're supposed to pee on it. Now, if, uh, if uh, Crackhead Fred come through with a chili cheese dog sloppy burger and he want to pee on it, you know what he peeing, right? He peeing ammonia. You should know he eating that raw meat. You peeing ammonia. Don't listen, sir. I appreciate that, but don't take your wang out. You pissing them off. But now we got the vegan princess, her ass pee on you. Your ass, uh, 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 go back 20 years. You looking young in the face. What you been doing? Oh, you know, I got a little something. It's a secret. I can't tell you. Because you're going to judge me then. But yet, she looking young. So they say, come you drink your urine. Now you want your real thing? It's not worth it. It's not worth it. No worries, I got one for you. What if I told you everybody in this room has already drunk in their urine? I bet you don't believe me, right? I bet you don't believe me, right? Who want a debate? Oh, nobody, okay. I'm just joking, I'm not a debate. So, <laughs> amniotic fluid. Anybody know what amniotic fluid really is? Still I'm sorry? After birth. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. But what is it? What? You said what? It's It's urine. Thank you. It's urine. Amniotic fluid is urine. You got a little stuff in it. But let's say 99% of it is urine. So anybody ever seen the movie, uh, I think it's Benjamin Button? What was that movie about? Let me make sure I see it. The reverse agent, uh, uh, agent. So when Benjamin Button was first born, he looked like an old man, check. For those who haven't seen it. The movie was about this baby, who when the baby was born, it looked like an old man. So now, when you got somebody a baby in gestation, in the womb, and the mama's not drinking enough water. Her ass drinking hen dog, nigga water, which is Kool-Aid. Her ass drinking Red Bull, a bunch of juices. Her ass needs some sweet tea and raspberry jam. And it's gonna be a lot of amniotic fluid. If that woman don't produce enough amniotic fluid, the baby will be born looking like Benjamin, but, uh, 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 I was gonna say Benjamin Bannon, like Benjamin Button. Your baby will look like Mr. Burns. I, I didn't have enough amniotic fluid. Your baby look like Fraggle Rock. Y'all remember, wait, well, if you're under the age of what? 30? 30? 30? Then you know what I'm talking about. I'm sorry. I smell breast milk on somebody's breath. I know you don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but for the older generation, yeah, your baby like Fraggle Rock. Why your baby look like that? Why your baby so, oh no, not enough to get around. Uh, sorry for you, that baby ugly. God bless his heart and all his parts. Straight up. Come, I'm not gonna drink urine. All right. All right. Just, just know the science of this lesson, of this lesson, of this lesson. Come, I'm not gonna drink urine. Ignorance is bliss. Ignorance is bliss. By the time our children get to fifth grade, their European counterparts know approximately 10,000 more words than they do. I'm not gonna drink my urine. We're gonna Netflix and chill. All right, why your ass over there chilling with Netflix, not knowing what's going on? Crumb, I've got eczema, I don't know what to do. Okay, with your eczema ass. Your damn elbows look like the damn chalkboard. I'm not drinking my yelling cocoa butter. <laughs> So yeah, um, urine is not going to do what cocoa butter does. With cocoa butter, you're not going to be ashy for what? A day? Two hours? That damn 
in urine, I have your ass looking like, um, I'm trying to think of what it is, like an angel basset. Like, damn, black don't crack. How old are you again? Hmm. Now, we know black, naturally black don't crack. We are naturally good people. But let me ask you this. When you talk about dry skin, does anybody know when the most popular time for anybody in this room to get dry skin? After you take a shower. That don't make no sense, bro. How come if I just got wet? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And there I go again. Can't get right. How come if I just got out of the shower, my skin is dry? Hold on, no, Crumb, you mean I was in that shower for an hour, Crumb. My fingers are wrinkly. Why is my skin dry? Does that make sense? I could see if you was out in the day, oh, my skin is dry, I've been in the Sahara. Your ass been in the shower for half an hour. Chilling. Why is your skin dry? We know there's some, I'm from Virginia. Pharrell, oh, shout out to 804. I'm from the 757, the real Virginia. I'm just joking. <laughs> um, but no, yeah, I'm from Virginia, and um, Pharrell's from Virginia, for those who don't know. He had a tour called Something in the Water. I told my mama, I said, ever since uh, uh, Pharrell said Something in the Water, I ain't drunk the water since. Well, that was just entertainment. No, there's something in the water. There's something in the water, family. There's a drying agent in the water. Well, how do you know, Crumb? Because even light-skinned people get ashy. I remember back in the day, light-skinned people didn't get ashy. Whatever's in the water, they put more in it. I'm getting ashy. I don't get well back in the day. Sick, you get ashy? You do see something in the water. Something's definitely in the water. White people get ashy now. I don't know if she's white or not. But you, you, white people are getting ashy now. Something's in the water. Much love to you, just in case you, I don't want you to feel like I love you. You're good, brother. <laughs> just want to make sure I don't want to ostracize anybody or any of those SAT words. <laughs> so now, um, everybody get ashy. You ashy? When you just got in the shower, you should be moisturized. No, I need to put a moisturizer on. Oh, really? Okay, tell me more. I know black don't crack. We naturally produce oils in our skin. We got good skin. A lot of us, I, let me see, let me see some wrinkles. I don't see one wrinkle in the room. Not one, not one person, let me just look over here. No wrinkles. No wrinkles in the room. That's normal. That's normal for us, but they're putting something in the water to de dehydrate us. Urea is going to uh, put fluid back in your skin for a long period of time. The cocoa butter, it might work an hour, two hours, three hours, I don't know, four hours. I have to take a shower, that shit is done. Um, if I know my lady got a good, now my lady be cheap. You know, we all got guilty pleasures. Her, her ass love Papa John's. She's the perfect vegan. When her ass been around Papa John's, she don't know how to act. She, she start tweaking it. I already know what it is. So, uh, you know, she's going to hit on the cheat. I'm not bothering her. <laughs> uh, in some schools of thought, it said that the kidneys and the liver also filter emotions and or trauma. So when you're drinking your urine, go ahead and speak on that. Like what is that. on? Okay. The body is, one second, I got you and I got you. The body operates off glands. What is the most popular gland that everybody knows about? Pineal. Pineal gland, the pineal gland. Now this is the thing, you have glands on top of your kidneys. What glands are on top of the kidneys? Adrenal gland, glands. What do the adrenal glands pump? Adrenaline. Adrenaline. So now, when you're dealing with these glands, they're gonna represent something. So now, I, I, you say, Crumb, whose urine are you gonna drink? A vegan's? Yeah, but, you know, I don't do the vegan thing, but at the same time, um, I don't care how much water she's been drinking. I don't care how healthy she's been eating. If her mind ain't right, I'm not drinking nothing from her. Because, because when you are uh, uh, dealing with the kidneys, that's a certain emotion. The kidneys are associated with fight or flight. The kidneys are associated with stress, stressful situations. This is what the adrenal glands are, 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 are dealing with. So yes, the emotions 
are going to dictate how the body works. What emo what um, emotion is synonymous with um, ulcers? Stress. Stress. Yo, uh, your ass got ulcers. You probably got an anger problem. Like ulcers, calm, calm your ass down, and I promise it'll be okay. Just a couple times if you, if you want to do that, but you know, go within, meditate. You know, grandma would tell us, sit your ass down somewhere. Yeah, it's, it's, that, 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 that does work. So yeah, uh, emotions, it, it, it's, it's critical. Because depending on how you think, your damn uh, uh, adrenaline will be pumping. Whether that be fight or whether that be flight. So now your whole joint is, it, is messed up. And people take advantage of that. Hillary Clinton, what is it called? Adrenochrome. What they do? They drink the blood of the baby. But first, what do they do to the baby? Whippies, your ass. Baby sit here moonwalking. I remember, yeah, yeah, I know how what I'm talking about. When my mama would beat me, she hold me by one arm, and I'm in the air. I don't, I don't weigh number one. Okay, I don't weigh number one sixteen. I'm joking. I weigh more than one sixteen. But no, when I was a kid, I, 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 I was nothing. So uh, she picked me up in the air and beat me. I'm sitting here walking in the air, moonwalking on the sun. So now, yeah. You scare the children, adrenal, uh, 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 their adrenal glands on top of the kidneys start pumping like hell. Uh, adrenaline goes to the blood. Why to the blood? Because the blood goes to the muscles. Why to the muscles? This is a fight or flight reaction. All right, slit his throat, drink the blood. Now I'm feeling like a damn god. Ah, so great. Because you were able to experience adrenaline without the emotional reaction. Oh, I've got the adrenaline, but I'm calm as hell. I've got the adrenaline, but I'm chilling. Because you got it from somebody else. Nonetheless, absolutely, emotions. Uh, brother and then brother. Two-part question. You have to put it. When should you, when should you drink urine? And two, when should you bathe? And, and usually in your hair, I've seen certain tribes in Africa where the cows, they take the urine and they bathe their face and hair. And they... Absolutely, absolutely. You can also use animal urine as well. Those are female animals, cows, that they're using the... Uh, the urine of as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, great for the skin, great for the hair, um, for the outer body, great for the inner body. Um, you can use it from animals. Uh, it, was, it was two parts of that question, I'm sorry. And when, when should you drink it? Um, I would say, when should you not drink it? I would say don't drink it if you don't have a good source. It's probably gonna be a very important thing. You know, it, there's an ancient African proverb, consider the source of your water. It was from people who live up, it was from people who live downhill, dealing with people who live uphill. You know, the, the water you drink is coming from uphill. Somebody polluted that water. But the people uphill, they got a good source of water. Consider the source of your water. Water is also information. Consider the source of your information. That's a two part double entendre with that African proverb. So consider the source. Um, if I don't drink urine, it's because I've been cheating. If I don't drink my urine or her urine, it's because she's been treated cheating. Um, but if my lady get pregnant, I'm like, listen, listen. You already know how it go. Do right, and you know, because three in the morning, she, you know, when pregnant women pee a lot. If you wake up three in the morning, put it in this little cup. When I wake up in the morning, I'll get it. You know, but. If she cheating, I'm cheating, or if you know, you're just not really in, 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 in that health mode, there's no there's, there's no point. Good brother. Science that was used by the elites now. Like the mm -hmm. same way people saying they taking our science and they selling this shit back. Teach. So this is what they're using for like all their uh, dermatology. Right. Uh, we talked about Hillary with her situation, but yep. now they, they're actually putting blood in your in the epidermis in your skin now because to keep the fluids in. But they're using the adrenal chrome blood. Teach. Also, instead of just ingesting, you know, the vampire rhythm part, right, right. now they they using it in all types of medicine. So when we look at it, you know, on our level it's being growth, but you talk about millions and billionaires using it for their health purposes, you know, it, that's they kidnapping our kids for this. Come on for this for this stuff. You know what? For their pee, the organs, all the blood, yep. the harvest in the organs, all this. Wasting our Only thing I want to say is I want to correct what we were saying. I don't want to call her Hillary. I want to call her Killer. Hillary. Killer. Please, brother. Uh, just piggybacking on a couple of the brothers. Uh, 
the white man, the pale man, he using that education now because the drinking of the urine. I saw um, a fighter or a bodybuilder, Conor McGregor. He got a whole series now about drinking his urine. Um, there was another boxer as well. Uh, he fought Pacquiao. Yeah. Yeah. Pacquiao uh, was the little yeah, Filipino yeah, boy that fought um, Mayweather. Sure. Floyd Mayweather, and he told, it was a, I'm not a sports dude, but I caught yeah, it because yeah, I was yeah. in that world. He, he, he told ESPN or Sports Center or whatever they were, whoever it was, uh, a part of his training regimen was drinking his own urine. It's, it's, it's you know, it's not an unheard of thing. It's called, actually called urine therapy. If you go, uh, if you subscribe to Dr. Sebi, Dr. Sebi, you know, did it. And you know, a lot of people cherry pick Dr. Sebi, so I'm not drinking my urine, I'm going with Dr. Sebi. Oh, tell me more about that. You know, so Dr. Sebi already endorsed it. Urine therapy is a big thing in India. Uh, Asians are doing it. You know, everywhere where they're not subscribing and endorsing Pepsi. Now, I don't know about that crumb. I'm doing Mountain Dew. Uh, they say, uh, this is a joke. I've said pretty much all I can virtually think of on the topic of drinking urine. Um, I gotta be honest with you, family. It's not for the... Um, faint of heart. It's not something I'd recommend for somebody who's not really ready for that light. I tell you, um, in this sense, well, Carl, I'm not that woke. I, I, I know it's okay, but I guarantee you, family, what you can't do with urine, well, you can definitely do that with VK Platinum. And I want to uh, end it with that. Thank you so much, Mr. DK and VK Platinum.